What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play of CJ Prospect Profile. I'll start with focusing on Tyler Johnson, Tampa Bay Lightning prospect, skating for the Syracuse Crunch. Just got called up by the Lightning with uh, the the Cavaliers injury. You know, diminutive sniper and only 5'9 and 180 pounds, but one of the elite uh, players from one of the Spokane Chiefs in recent years. I remember watching him play for the U.S. World Junior Team, winning gold um, up in Western Canada, out in, up in Alberta when they won it that year. Um, his last year at Major Juniors did an overage year and had 115 points in 71 games for the Chiefs uh, back in 2010-2011. You know, undrafted free agent um, from Spokane of all places. Like I said, did uh, four years there with the Chiefs, and then uh, signed with the Tampa Bay Lightning last year. Played for the Norfolk Admirals, has 68 points in 75 games. Won the Calder Cup with Norfolk, and this year in Syracuse has had 50. 58 points in 70 in 59 games at the time of his recall. You know, great plus minus all the way through. He's been a plus player going back to his first year in juniors. He's a real great two-way player that got dramatically overlooked because of the size or lack thereof. And, um, you know, it's a kid that scored 50 goals in the Western Hockey League once upon a time. Has had 30 goals in each of the last two years in the AHL. And as a cold-blooded sniper, you look at them signing Corey Conacher and guys like that. You know, undrafted free agents. JT Brown's another one. Um, and then throwing them in the mix. And uh, Johnson's, I think, the next in line that can play at a high level with the elite skilled players the Tampa Bay Lightning already have on that roster. I look for, um, you know, to be a top six forward going forward down the line. Um, like I said, the size is the only thing working against him. He's got great offensive instincts, can play a two way game, and has, um, has some pretty good upside. You know, I think if you could fill the net. Um, like he has at every level of his career, juniors, AHL, I think the NHL is the next step. And obviously there's a huge jump up in competition. But uh, I think he's ready to pass that test. And someone that watched him play uh, for Team USA and for the Spokane Chiefs, he's definitely got um, – he's going to be something special. And I look forward to seeing what he can do with, when given a chance. He can play center and the wing. He's pretty versatile. They got him listed as a center. As a center. But I definitely think he'll slide over and play either wing because he's got that uh, that goal scoring mentality, which you don't see too often, quite frankly. And uh, you know, this is a kid that was been been discounted everywhere he's gone, and has passed every test, kind of like Corey Connick or another one. Even Marty Stanley will be going back a little bit further. Marty's a little bit older than those guys. Uh, Johnson's 22; will be 23 in uh, July. But uh, you know, like I said, very talented young man has a lot of um, has a long future playing pro hockey. Now, how successful he's going to be in the NHL? Will the size finally catch up with him? I don't know, but you know, I'm really curious to see what he does tonight in his first uh, NHL game. That's all. Steps out of the power play with CJ prospect profiles on Tyler Johnson, Tampa Bay Lightning prospects, game for the Syracuse Crunch. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.